YouTube, what's going on? KT Medic here, and today we're talking Infinite Warfare. It is here if you are on PlayStation. Xbox, we gotta wait another week. Next weekend, we get the beta, and it's gonna be awesome, I hope. I'm super excited to play it, and I, I just really can't wait. I've had it pre ordered for ever and ever and ever, and Modern Warfare Remastered. Is coming with it and I can't wait to play that again because that's gonna be a ton of fun so let's get into it a little bit with infinite warfare there are combat rigs which is basically customizable tactical suit things so you're gonna have three in the infinite warfare beta you're gonna have warfighter Merc and synaptic so on warfighter you're gonna have Payloads and traits on each one of these. So the payloads are claw. It's basically a little shotgun kind of thing like that. The bullets can ricochet around corners. You're going to have combat focus. I don't know if these all come equipped together or if you have to pick one or the other. I assume that you would have to pick one or the other. Not 100% sure, but we will find out tomorrow. Today, actually, when this video comes out. And... Combat focus, you get double points for a limited amount of time, just like in Black Ops 3. So that's really similar. Also, overdrive, you can get a speed boost, just like in Black Ops 3. So the traits, you can have a ping, which if you get a kill or an assist, it sends a ping that highlights nearby enemies. This was like a perk or something, I wanna say, I think it was in Ghost that they had something just like that that if you killed somebody it sent out a ping and highlighted near nearby enemies to where that kill was so that's kind of cool i don't know how that'll play into this game but we'll see uh persistence score streak counts don't reset after death but cost more which is really nice if you can't stay alive which probably a lot of people will be using because it's easier and you don't get all stressed out when you're trying to go for some of the bigger score streaks. So that's pretty cool. Although it's going to really suck if that counts for all score streaks. Even like the really high ones, the top tier score streaks that everybody wants. If they're attainable. We'll have to wait and see. And who knows. Resupply. Basically, scavenger. You can pick up stuff. Lethals, tacticals from people you kill. On to Merc. With Merc, you can have in the payload Steel Dragon, which is a beam weapon and targets multiple enemies, which is kind of cool and will probably be really annoying. Bull Charge, armored riot shield. As you charge, it basically runs people over, which is, again, pretty cool. Very close, close proximity, probably. Maybe like hard point, stuff like that. That might be not terrible. We'll have to see, yet again. I don't know all of these things. I don't know all the details, and I'm so excited to find out more. Reactive armor, just like Black Ops 3, shields you from enemy fire. There's a lot of things in Infinite Warfare that remind me of Black Ops 3. Hopefully the game runs better. That's all I have to say. Traits, infusion, regain your health faster. Super easy, that would be crucial in some gunfights that you get into if it's a really fast-paced game or something like that man-at-arms you will not slow down if you're using a heavy weapon like an LMG or something like that and also you start with max ammo the last one shockwave gravity spikes that's all I gotta say so pretty cool synaptic the robot guy. Payloads, equalizer. Dual underarm machine guns with built in suppressors. That is pretty freaking cool. We'll have to see. Also reminds me of Black Ops 3. Not bad. I don't mind Black Ops 3. It just doesn't run well for me. But that's, we're not talking about Black Ops 3. We're talking about Infinite Warfare. Rewind, rewinds your position, which again, Black Ops 3. <laughs> so we'll see 
Um, but this one also replenishes your health and ammo. So if you jump in, you get in a gunfight, you shoot your ammo, get hit a couple times, and rewind. It basically takes you back and gives you your health back and your ammo that you use. So that's actually pretty cool. And the last one, Reaper, switches you into four-legged rapid melee combat mode like a freaking robot dog. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be insane. We're going to have a bunch of robot dogs with suppressed machine guns on both arms. That's going to be insane. Traits. Three traits for this guy. Combat burst. You gain a burst of movement speed after each kill, which is actually pretty cool. I hadn't hadn't really thought about that, but that would actually be really cool. You get a kill, like burst over to the side or at somebody or whatever. They're not going to expect it. That is super cool. Second one, propulsion. Your jump pack recharges quickly and you can damage enemies under you from the thrust and the blast from your jump pack, which is pretty cool. Nothing really like that before, except for like the slam in Advanced Warfare. So I kind of do miss that because I, sometimes I really want to get back to, um, to the ground a lot faster. But last one for this guy, rush down. Basically, you can dash in horizontal directions. Kind of like Advanced Warfare, which I might be playing with this guy a lot, considering the, the double underarm suppressed machine guns. Yes, please. Give me this guy. Super excited. You will have three maps. Frontier, which is basically a circle, two lanes, fast paced, smaller map. And Frost, which is um, Frost is the second one, three lane. A little bit more of a medium map, medium pace game. It is built on a research facility on Jupiter's moon Europa. So very cold, very icy. I don't know, that probably won't play a whole lot into the actual game mechanics or anything like that, but it should be pretty cool. And seeing like space, space hopefully will look really cool in this game. And I, ha I have really high hopes for this game. I really do. The last one is Throwback, which is a space station that is made to look like a 1950s Main Street and it's got like a, a square corridor in the middle with a couple different hallways and a ring around the outside. That one's going to be crazy. There's going to be people everywhere trying to get to the middle of that map. It's going to come out with three modes. They say that it's going to have a surprise like the new Defender mode, which it's more than likely going to have at least those four modes. Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Defender. You know what Team Deathmatch is, you know what Domination is, you know what Kill Confirmed is. But Defender, if you don't know, basically keep away with a drone. Like, that's about it. You keep it, you get points, your team gets points, you lose it, other team gets points. So don't lose the drone. Easy as that. So, that was a pretty quick cut and dry rundown of Infinite Warfare Beta. I cannot wait till it comes out for Xbox because I don't have it for PlayStation. I do have a PlayStation, but I didn't pre-order it for that because I play on an Xbox. I bought an Elite controller and I'm not gonna go over to PlayStation. But I'm waiting for it for Xbox One next weekend. I cannot wait, super excited. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I'm KT Medic, I'm out.